If you wanna sound even and smooth playing any groove, any style of music, you need to have two hands that complement each other. Both hands need to be able to play. It's normal to have less strength in your non-dominant hand, but the goal is to get the same level or almost the same level as your dominant hand. Let's say that the dominant hand is the teacher and the non-dominant hand the student. It's very important to have good technique, of course, in the teacher hand, the dominant hand, and imitate or mirror the same technique with the left hand. So today I will give you three exercises to improve the technique of your non-dominant hand. Let's go to the first one. I normally start this exercise with my right hand, my dominant hand. But the challenge here is to invert this pattern and start with the left hand, like this. For me, it's much more difficult to start with the left hand. Maybe for you it's the same. So let's start slow at 50 BPM. Now let's try faster at 70 BPM. Exercise two. Now let's work on the double stroke technique with the left hand. Very slow, the exercise goes like this. Now let's start slow, 50 BPM, try to play with me. Now a bit faster, 65 BPM. Exercise 3. In this last exercise, I'm going to play a basic groove, but I'm going to play as if I were a left-handed player. This is a big challenge for me, and I suppose it's the same for a lot of you. For sure, this will help you a lot with your non-dominant side. Let's start slow at 6 BPM.
now faster at 90 BPM. I know that is a big difference, 60 to 90. I suggest you to increase the tempo according to your progress. You don't need to go from 60 to 90 BPM. In this uh, video, I just give you the challenge to start slow and finish faster with me. And of course, if you're ready, if you practice, and if you're ready at 90 BPM, let's go with me, 90 BPM. So all these exercises are not about develop speed, but develop control of your non-dominant hand. I hope you like these exercises and we'll include them in your practice routine. And don't forget to get the notation of these exercises in the description below. And of course, it's free. And if you want to learn how to play and progress on the Cajon, you can go now to cajonmasa.com and sign up for the free resources. Don't forget to hit the like button and of course subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the video, I will see you soon.